Okay, in this problem we are asked to find CV and CP of carbon dioxide at a given temperature and pressure. And they said use 1K as the difference in setting up the neighboring states. Okay, first let's recall what is the meaning of the property CV, specifically at constant volume. It's defined as del U del T at constant volume. Well, it looks like a complex partial derivative, but if you think about what it means, it simply means how U changes, U the specific internal energy changes with temperature if volume is kept constant. So in other words, if we can do an experiment, how U change between state T1 and T2, I mean state 1 and 2, if we hold volume to be constant. So if we think of two different states, neighboring states, and change temperature, and see how much U changes, their ratio should be CV. And it's given that use 1K as the difference. In other words, T2 minus T1 should be 1K. So we can set up two states, state 1 with, of course, the pressure is given to us. Pressure equals 100 kPa. So temperature at 1 should be about 1000 kPa, but we can say 1000 minus 0 0.5. So that, that would be one of our state. What should be our state two? Well, we don't know what happens to pressure. We know volume remains constant. So V2 must be equals V1. And two, T2 is 1,000 plus 0.5, 1,000.5K. Oops, this should be K here. So we are going to set up two states one with pressure 100 kPa, temperature 995, another with volume remaining the same, and 1000.5, and we'll figure out what is U2 and U1, and that difference, and from there we can figure out what is CV. Okay, now let's set up the states. We go to test cells, and to find properties, we follow the states, system states, and the IG model branch, and to launch the HTML5 based test calc, we click here. Now the first step is to select the working fluid, which is CO2 in this case. And we're setting up state one with 999.5K. That gives us the values of many, and 100 kPa, a lot of thermodynamic properties. In fact, all the blue properties are now evaluated. For state two, we want to hold specific volume constant. So we'll put V2 equals V1 and relax the temperature a little bit, getting a neighborhood state by at a slightly higher temperature, about 1000 Kelvin. This is called central differencing. To get 1000 Kelvin in the middle, we took 999.5 and 1005. There are different ways of estimating derivative in calculus. This is one of those. Okay, so now that we've got two neighboring states, all the properties being known, we can go to the I.O. panel and set up, find the value of CV. What is our CV? It is U2 minus U1 divided by T2 minus T1. Of course, T2 minus T1 is 1 Kelvin, but just for completeness, I wrote that equation. So if I hit enter, the answer is displayed here in the I.O. panel. Uh, just to understand how good we, we got this value using the Taylor's series approximation, let's go and calculate, go state 3 and calculate the CP value, CV value at exactly 1000 Kelvin, which is evaluated as part of the state. Well, the CV is not produced, the CP and R are here. So what will be the CV value? It will be, so CV at 1000 
equals CP at 3, state 3, minus R at 3. CP minus R is CV, if you recall. And, and, and take a look. Uh, it, it's quite close, actually, that, that the CP value that we, the CB value we found 1.045 and 1.045 produced exactly a thousand Kelvin. So therefore we got a very good estimate of the CB, CB value. Notice that even though we have done it for the IG model, we could do exactly the same thing with any other model. For instance, you could find CP and CV of steam using exactly the same procedure. So we found CV to be 1.025, I believe it was 1 point, sorry, 1.045. Well, but if you go to the state panel, you notice that CV, uh, well, CV is not produced, but CP value is given here. And we know that CP minus CV equals R, so one can show that the CV value we got is pretty close to the actual answer. Okay, let's go find out what is CP. Once again, we know from, from the definition of CP, CP is given as del H del T at constant pressure, which is equals H2 minus H1, oh, sorry, let's, we use state two and three already. So let's say it's H3 minus H1 uh, divided by T3 minus T1 when you hold the pressure at state 3 same as pressure at 1. So we'll, we'll, we, have already, we already have evaluated state 1. We are going to find a state neighboring state 3 where we'll hold the pressure to be same as state 1 and we'll make the temperature to be 1000.5 Kelvin. And that will produce our CP which will be equals H3 minus H1, T3 minus T1. So going back to the test app, we go to the state three, which is already selected. We initialize because we want to find a state three where the pressure is held constant. Pressure three minus B equals pressure one. And the temperature is slightly higher than 1000 Kelvin. So that allows us to find the enthalpy at state three and so cp by definition is change in enthalpy h3 minus h1 divided by t3 minus t1 change in enthalpy divided by change in temperature when the pressure is held constant of course the changes should be differential in nature in which in our case is just about one kelvin so, so therefore, you see, we found a CP of 1.2339. And if we want to calculate that exactly, state 4, uh, 100 kPa and 1,000 Kelvin, CP value is 1.2339, almost exactly same as what we calculated from fundamentals.